Morning, everybody. Welcome to my office. Uh, not a lot of orders today, but let's get those pulled, and then I can talk to you about the newest shipping issue I had. Add that to the pile of other eBay shipping issues I've had. But let's get started. First up is a 1971 Betty Crocker uh, recipe card um, box. Uh, it's in like a vintage olive green or something like that so it's a bit heavy i might have to sit the camera down to pick it up oh oh i got it oh yeah but here we go ugly box maybe somebody thinks that's pretty but yeah betty crocker recipe cards um and that sold for eleven dollars and four cents plus shipping pretty heavy so 15 bucks in shipping there uh, next thing up, AT&T Trimline Telephones. That's a corded house phone, new in box. No idea where I got this, but I can't imagine I paid more than a buck for it, but regular house phone. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a Logitech uh, USB webcam. It's an older one. Um, came with the house I said in the last video i had some some stuff that was just left behind when i bought the house um but it's a logitech webcam and that was 1235 free shipping free item just kind of wanted it out of here uh took an offer on that and then let's see what do we got left here we have a uh sony ac adapter bought a sony um Handycam, possibly a couple Sony Handycams uh, that didn't work. And so parted out all the batteries and cords and things that did work. And actually there's good money in those. So I'll pick up good brand um, camcorders, cameras, uh, even, even if I'm pretty sure they don't work, if the price is right, because the bits and pieces, the chargers, the cords, um, all that actually carries its own value. Sometimes it seems like almost more than the camera itself. That's not it. Uh, da, da, da. It's supposed to be my smalls box where my smalls are at. But it's not in there. So, uh, let's check. Well, it's gotta be in here then. I only put them in two places. That, 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 that. Well, proof again that my organizational um, process is not great and needs to be improved. I might even have to sit you down for the thorough search. So let me find that and then get back to you. All right, I actually picked it up once and put it back down. Um, it's an AC adapter, and I was looking for like one of the one of the flatter um, power adapters. Uh, so I actually did know where it was. Uh, so that item sold for uh, fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. Uh, so I probably paid five bucks something for the camera. At the very least, I'm making money off the cords. Next up, another vintage clock. So weird. Didn't sell a vintage clock for months, and I've sold three in the last week. Uh, we got a Montgomery Ward Airline. This one actually super cool. I wanted to keep it for myself. It didn't really fit on my nightstand well, um, and I didn't need a clock for my uh, desk, but it's a LCD display. It's just got a really neat look to it, upright, wood grain on the sides, um, alarm clock, radio, um, just just really neat. I like I like how the knobs are there and that it's an upright. I don't know, just didn't just didn't fit on my desk around. So that for sure would have been mine. And then last thing for the day, this is actually I think it's going to Canada through the Global Shipping Program, which I got to start doing. Um, simple export through pirate ship because this sale going to california to go to canada they paid 15 dollars for a corningware uh white uh, a one and a half b 
uh, but they paid $30 in shipping. So that's to get it to California and then through the global shipping program to whatever its final destination is. Um, I think we got it right here. Get the lid off so I don't break it. As a, I'll break it anyways. A one and a half B, perfect. Grab that lid. And yeah, so I don't know why, but it's like, as soon as I say I don't want to start ship glassware in the winter, I start selling a lot of glassware. So just pack your glassware better. You don't want breakage. You don't want returns or attempted returns and refunds. Um, well, I'm gonna get those packed up and then we'll talk about the newest shipping issue I've had with eBay. So previously, um, talked about how I had an issue where, uh, a shipping issue where eBay allowed a buyer to purchase FedEx home delivery, um, but their address was a PO box. So they purchased a shipping option that they had no, no ability to receive. So that's an issue I think eBay really needs to work out. Um, they made it right by making up the difference in cost, but still shouldn't be an option. Now, oddly enough, back-to-back -back days, I had some type of similar um, problem. And this time it was with the um, APO FPO, uh, which if you don't know what that is, check my notes just to be completely accurate. Uh, the APO, uh, that's Army Post Office, and the FPO, that's Fleet Post Office. So these are military branch post offices, either a base um, or a ship of some kind. Um, and so it allowed them to purchase it with priority mail. And then I was unable to purchase that through the eBay app. So I lose out on my um, top rated seller discount and um, just the ease of purchasing what I'm trying to purchase through the eBay system. Uh, so I contacted eBay. I actually got a bit of a runaround. They transferred me and then didn't transfer me, just left me hanging. So then I finally got an answer and they said, yes, um, we just can't help you out. Sorry. You got to go to your post office and do it. Now, my problem with that is not shipping to a military base. I am glad to ship anywhere. I don't care if somebody wants to buy something, I want to ship it to them. But the hassle involved, was that worth it? To some people, maybe no. To me, in order to provide a service to someone who is giving service to our country, that is any hassle involved, any extra monetary difference there might be, I am more than happy to absorb that burden. Um, it wasn't super complicated. You just, you do have to go to your post office. There's a form you have to fill out. You can get the, the form through USPS.com or you can pick some up and have them on hand. But this is the second time I've ever had to ship something. And this wasn't an issue before. This is a new issue. I think I got no answers from the post office or eBay, but I think it has to do with how the COVID related uh, shipping changes happened where uh, USPS stopped shipping to certain countries, priority mail. I think that might have fallen into um, a whole encompassing issue where, but that's just, that's just my guess. I honestly have no idea why you used to be able to do it and now you can't, but not that big of a deal. You got to go to the post office, speak to the teller. It, it, it's probably easier just to do it that way. You can, like I said, get them off USPS.com um, or pick them up at your post office. It's a separate um, customs form you have to fill out. Not a huge deal. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, the extra effort, definitely worth it. If, I, if it ended up being a wash, no profit on the product, and it just didn't cost me any money, I would still be more than happy to do it. They're doing a service to their country. I can do a service to them and ship them the, I think it was a, a camera lens, $20 camera lens and a, and a flash, some film. So maybe they're a hobbyist. Maybe it goes to the camera they have with them, whatever. I'm willing to put in that work, not a ton of work. It did take, I mean, it was probably 15 minutes at the post office filling out, getting the paperwork, trying to get my answers and stuff. So next time, you know, probably 10 minutes, but still, it's extra time in your day for how little it happens, unless you're selling stuff that's very specific, which I couldn't even think what that would be, where you're gonna get a lot of um, 
APO, FPO orders. I don't know what that could possibly be. If you are someone who gets them often, uh, maybe you have better answers than I do. If you can leave those in the comments um, or if you have, you know, a cheaper way to do it. Maybe I was going to look into um, Pirate Ship and see if I could just do it that way, which is most likely. Uh, but by the time I was at the post office getting my answers, it wasn't really worth it to me to go back home and figure out a new way to put a label on and then take it back to the post office. Next time I'll look into that, see if I have any answers. If I do, I'll end up trying to possibly link from this video to that video. Still new to filming, um, figuring out all the bells and whistles. Uh, but like I said, not a ton of extra work. eBay should fix that, but you know, who knows if that'll happen? Do they do they ever you know really fix things? No, they they'll tell you how to fix it, that kind of thing. But but like I said, not a huge deal. Not an extreme amount of extra effort. Uh, you don't have to offer it as a shipping option. I honestly, when it popped up. I thought back when I originally was uh, making my eBay account and it said it was like an option of places you could ship to. And I clicked on it thinking, sure, I have no idea what this is, but I'll ship to anywhere. What do I care? And now this finally came up. I will ship to there. Of course. Why not? Uh, so, you know, not a big deal, um, but, but just another one of the many shipping and, uh, shipping and boxing related hurdles you run into being a eBay reseller, but just like all the rest of them, happens once, it's a learning experience. And then moving forward, it's not something you have to worry about anymore. If you like my videos, um, subscribe, that'd be great. Give it a like, share it with your friends, tell other people about it, that's how, that's how channels grow. Word of mouth, um, a couple clicks here and there, and all of a sudden I have a channel that's people that actually watch, 